Good evening. This is All India Radio and I am Gora Dhawan Lal with the news at 9. The headlines scrutiny of nominations for election to 115 lok sabha seats in third phase held today campaigning by various political parties in full swing prime minister and senior bjp leader narendra modi says coming elections are for new india and development congress president rahul gandhi says demonetization caused job loss to many people supreme court refuses to grant interim stay on operation of electoral bond scheme in jammu and kashmir security cover of over 900 persons including 22 separatist leaders withdrawn maldives goes to polls tomorrow to elect new parliament and in ipl cricket royal challengers bangalore batting against kolkata night riders in bengaluru scrutiny of nominations for the third phase of lok sabha elections was held today monday is the last date for withdrawal of nominations 115 seats spread over 12 states and two union territories will go to polls in this phase on the 23rd of April all parliamentary constituencies of Gujarat Goa Kerala Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Diu will go to polls in the third phase voting in this phase will also take place for 14 seats each in Maharashtra and Karnataka 10 in Uttar Pradesh 7 in Chhattisgarh 6 in Odisha 5 each in Bihar and West Bengal four in assam and one seat in jammu and kashmir in gujarat the total number of nominations filed for 26 lok sabha seats is 573 as many as 82 candidates have filed their nominations for the bipole to four assembly seats in kerala a total of 303 candidates filed their nominations for 20 lok sabha constituencies in assam 59 nominations have been found valid in the third phase Three nominations have been rejected at Kokrajhar constituency after scrutiny. In Goa, 16 candidates filed their papers for two parliamentary constituencies. A total of 69 nominations were filed in Odisha for six Lok Sabha seats, while in Bihar, 114 candidates filed nominations for five parliamentary constituencies. In Karnataka, 317 candidates have filed 457 nominations for 14 constituencies meanwhile campaigning is on in full swing in different parts of the country prime minister and senior bjp leader narendra modi addressed rallies at amroha and saharanpur in uttar pradesh and dehradun in uttarakhand today addressing a rally at amroha the prime minister called for a strong and decisive government at the center he said a strong government can take tough and big decisions to move the country forward later addressing a rally at saharanpur mr modi said that the forthcoming election is for a new india and for development is baar ka chunav sirf ek sansad chunne ke liye nahi ye sirf pradhan mantri banane ke liye chunav nahi hai naye bharat ki niti aur riti kya ho आपके संतानों का भविष्य क्या हो आपकी बहन बेटियों की जिंदगी क्या हो इसके लिए ये चुनाव है कंक्लूडिंग इज रैली ऑफ द डे एट देहरादून प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी हाईलाइटेड द अचीवमेंट ऑफ हिज गवर्नमेंट इन द लास्ट फाइव इयर्स ही सेड द करप्शन वॉज ऑन एक्सेलरेटर एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑन वेंटिलेटर ड्यूरिंग द कांग्रेस रूल Campaigning in Manipur today, BJP National President Amit Shah appealed to the people of the Northeast to vote for the second term of Narendra Modi for all-round development of the region. Addressing another rally at Morigaon district in Assam, Mr. Amit Shah said that the Narendra Modi government has carried out the updation of the National Register of Citizens (NRC) to identify illegal citizens. Speaking at a rally in Dubri, TMC Chief and West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee said that her government was the only one that spoke out for the 40 lakh applicants whose names were excluded from the final draft of the NRC. Congress President Rahul Gandhi said that many people lost their jobs because of demonetization. He was interacting with youth in Pune today. Mr Gandhi also assured that after coming to power the Congress will give 33% reservation to women in the Vidhan Sabha Lok Sabha and in government jobs Lok Sabha Vidhan Sabha Rajya Sabha seats 
are going to be reserved for women after 2019 when we come to power. Second thing we are thinking about is 33% of all jobs at the national level should be reserved for women. Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Vadra held a roadshow in Ghaziabad today in support of the party candidate. The Samajwadi Party released its election manifesto today. Veteran BJP leader and Lok Sabha speaker Sumitra Mahajan has decided not to contest the Lok Sabha election. Talking to media persons in Indore today, she urged the party leadership to end the indecision over the BJP's candidate from the constituency. आज सोच समझ के मैंने ये निर्णय लिया आज पार्टी को मैंने ये चिंता से मुक्त किया कि टाइप को कैसा लगेगा मत सोचो आज भी मैं पार्टी की कार्यकर्ता हूँ चुनाव में बिल्कुल जी जान से हम सभी मिल करके चुनाव लड़ेंगे Mrs Mahajan has represented Indore eight times since 1989 and is the longest serving woman member of parliament In Tripura, polling will be held in the Tripura West General Constituency in the first phase of elections on the 11th of April. There are seven contestants in the fray. The poll battle is mainly between contestants of three parties: the ruling BJP, the Congress, and the CPIM. A correspondent has filed this report. The BJP has filled a party state general secretary Pratima Bhomik, who had earlier contested three times on Congress ticket against Tripura former Chief Minister Manik Sharkar from Shonamora's Dhanpur Assembly constituency. CPIM sitting MP Shankar Prasad Dutt is contesting this time too. Congress has filled its Subal Bhomik, who had joined Congress quitting BJP last month. Ruling party's partner in state government, Indigenous People Front of Tripura, has also filled its candidate. Main plank of issues of BJP are development and national. the achievements of the central government while congress and cpim are highlighting on issues like joblessness corruption subhashish chandra aiya news agartala district election authorities across the country are tirelessly making efforts to enroll more voters lay district election officer avni lavasa has adopted an innovative way to attract young voters in the ladakh region of jammu and kashmir here is a report from our lay correspondent ramesh chandra Leh is sparsely populated in over 45000 square kilometers. The society in general and youth in particular are very active on social media. Noticing the habits of the youth, district elections officer today inaugurated a selfie kiosk at Leh Main Bazaar. The kiosk has details like polling date and theme slogan My Vote Counts on it. The idea is to propagate the youth to enroll and participate in polling. Sweep team is also holding a selfie competition and best selfie which has received good response would be awarded by the district elections authority. News Services Division of All India Radio is broadcasting a special live program Janadesh 2019 on the developments related to the general elections 2019 tune in to the fm gold channel of air from 4 or 5 pm to 4 30 pm every day till the announcement of results to listen to this special program this is all india radio giving you the news for quick news updates follow us on twitter at the rate air news alerts बेटा वादा करो कि अब तुम अच्छे से पढ़ाई करोगे जी पापा बिना बताए कभी भी घर से बाहर नहीं जाओगे राजू तुम जानते हो ना कि अगर तुम 10 मिनट भी देर से आते हो तो हम दोनों की क्या हालत हो जाती है पापा एक वादा आप भी कीजिए बिना सीट बेल्ट पहने कभी कार नहीं चलाएंगे आप जब भी ऐसा करते हैं मुझे बहुत डर लगता है बेटा मैं वादा करता हूँ आज ऐसी सीट बेल्ट लगाए बिना कभी भी कार नहीं चलाऊंगा क्या ये वादा आप नहीं करेंगे बिना सीट बेल्ट बांधे गाड़ी न चलाए चाहे ड्राइवर हो या सवारी अपनों को न डराएं, सीट बेल्ट बांध कर ही कार चलाएं। सड़क परिवहन व राजमार्ग मंत्रालय भारत सरकार द्वारा जनहित में जारी The Supreme Court has refused to grant an interim stay on the operation of the electoral bond scheme. A bench headed by Chief Justice Ranjan Gogoi, while hearing the petition of an NGO today, said the issue requires detailed hearing and it will be taken up on the 10th of this month. The bench also asked the NGO to file an appropriate application. The petitioner has alleged that thousands of crore rupees are anonymously being given to political parties under the scheme. The centre insists. that the scheme was brought in to check the flow of black money into political funding 
The BJP has accused Congress President Rahul Gandhi of not responding to its allegations of corruption on the charges leveled against him in the Augusta Westland VVIP chopper deal case. Talking to the media in New Delhi, Finance Minister Arun Jetli said the allegations have been leveled against Mr. Gandhi on the basis of documents available in the matter. He said, when no reply is given to such serious allegations, then the country is entitled to presume that no reply could have been given. जब किसी राजनीतिक व्यक्ति पर दस्तावेज के बुनियाद पे कुछ आरोप लगता है तो कुछ तो उत्तर होगा ये दस्तावेज गलत है या इनसे जो निष्कर्ष निकाला जा रहा है वो गलत है अगर कोई भी उत्तर नहीं दिया जाता तो फिर एक ही कंक्लूजन है कि कोई भी उत्तर दिया नहीं जा सकता The Congress has said that the BJP-led government is misusing the Enforcement Directorate and leveling baseless allegations on its party leaders in connection with the Augusta Westland VVIP chopper deal case. Talking to reporters in New Delhi, party spokesperson Randeep Surjewala said the High Court at Milan in Italy also upheld the judgment of an Italian appeals court that no graft and wrongdoing was found in the case. सच्चाई ये है कि एक घबराई मोदी सरकार अब ईडी को इलेक्शन ढकोसला बनाकर झूठे इल्जाम लगाकर वो किसी प्रकार से देश का ध्यान भटकाना चाहते हैं पर देश न्याय चाहता है द जम्मू एंड कश्मीर गवर्नमेंट हैज विस्ट्रोन सिक्योरिटी कवर फ्रॉम 919 अनडिजर्विंग पर्सन इंक्लूडिंग 22 सेपरेटिस्ट लीडर्स सिंस गवर्नर्स रूल इन द स्टेट The move has resulted in the availability of 2,768 police personnel and 389 vehicles for public service. In a statement, the Home Ministry said it was observed by the centre that many undeserving persons had managed to get security cover. The ministry directed the state government to undertake an in-depth review on the basis of merit. The Union Public Service Commission has declared the final results of the Civil Services Examination 2018. A total of 759 candidates including 577 men and 182 women have been recommended by the commission for appointment to various services 36 persons with benchmark disability have also been recommended by the commission BTech graduate from IIT Bombay Kanisha Kataria has topped the examination Akshat Jain got second position while Junaid Ahmed stood third a chemical engineer from Bhopal Srishti Jain Deshmukh is the topper among the female candidates securing an overall fifth rank President Ramnath Kovind has greeted citizens on the eve of Chaitra Sukladi Ugadi Kudi Parava Chetti Chand Navre and Sajibu Chirava In a message Mr Kovin said traditionally the festivals mark the onset of new year and the warmer months and reflect values of prosperity and well-being he hoped that the spirit of joy and happiness signified by these festivals will pervade the heart of every indian in maldives polling will be held to elect a new parliament tomorrow the month long campaign for elections ended this evening with all parties and candidates holding their final rallies and meetings We have a report from a correspondent. The capital city of Male was filled with party activists and supporters wearing their party colors as they took part in final rally before the poll. Elections will be held for 87 constituencies, which is two more than the current parliament strength because of increase in population. Maldivian Democratic Party is contesting 85 out of 87 seats and is seeking a majority for the stability of government led by President Ibrahim Mohamed Solih. Its main fight is against coalition led by former President Abdullah Yameen who lost presidential elections held last year and is trying to make a comeback. Santosh Kumar for AIR News from Male. In IPL cricket, Royal Challengers Bangalore RCB were 163 for one in 16.1 overs against Kolkata Knight Riders KKR in Bengaluru a short while ago. Earlier, KKR won the toss and elected to bowl. In now, before we close the headlines once again, scrutiny of nominations for election to 115 Lok Sabha seats in third phase held today. Campaigning by various political parties in full swing, Prime Minister and senior BJP leader Narendra Modi says. coming elections are for new india and development congress president rahul gandhi says demonetization caused job loss to many people supreme court refuses to grant interim stay on operation of electoral bond scheme in jammu and kashmir security cover of over 900 persons including 22 separatist leaders withdrawn maldives goes to polls tomorrow to elect new parliament and in ipl cricket royal challengers bangalore batting against kolkata knight riders in bengaluru 
And that is all in the news at 9. Good night.